This will be a quick demonstration on the initial setup and checks for the digital multimeter. In this video, I'm going to show you a few simple steps and precautions to take before you make any measurements whatsoever with a digital multimeter. First, turn the digital multimeter on. Take a very close look at the display on the LCD or liquid crystal display. Here you can see I've got four digits. I've got a negative sign flashing back on and off. I don't see anything else to indicate that there is a problem here. So this meter most likely is going to be fine for making a voltage, current, or any type of measurement that I would like to make. Let's turn on the second meter. Well, so far, oh, the battery alarm came on. Uh, so that is telling me, oh, look at that. Um, the display just went all uh, funky on us so I'm guessing that the battery inside this digital multimeter is depleted look at that the display is outright uh, disappearing on us so the battery is dead on this particular meter so we can't make any obvious measurements with this one so that's the first thing that we're looking for to make sure that the battery in your digital multimeter is in proper working order Next I like to check the quality of my meter leads, but before I plug them into the digital multimeter, examine them to see if you have any burn marks, any exposed wires, any wires that are connections that are frayed, any problems whatsoever because you do not want to expose yourself to a shock hazard. Next, plug them into the digital multimeter. So what I want to do is I want to do a resistance check of the meter leads. So I'm going to plug in the black into the common jack, the COM connection, and the red is going to go into the volts, ohm, hertz, diode check on this meter. Ohms is what, I want, what I'm looking for because I'm going to be doing a resistance check. So this is where the red lead's going to go. Make sure you push them in all the way because I've seen it far too often that they're not pushed in all the way and people are wondering why they can't make any measurements with their digital multimeter. Now I want to set my function switch, that's this switch here, to a resistance function and I'm going to choose the lowest resistance range. So in this meter it's 200 ohms. Right now this is an infinite measurement so we have lots and lots of resistance here so the meter is giving me an overload. If I connect the two leads together, I should technically have a short circuit. This meter is measuring 0.3 ohms, so that's telling me that my meter leads are fine and will be good enough to make any measurement that I'd like with this digital multimeter. Feedback and comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching.